Hey everybody, I want to first off apologize because I've been away for quite a while. I've just been doing a lot of reading and a bunch of other stuff, working a lot, so I really haven't had time to, you know, read a whole lot of books and do book calls and videos and everything, so I'm sorry for that. But I'm back now and I do have a enormous, well I shouldn't say enormous, I have a big book haul of some books that I've gotten in the last month or so. So, I will get started with that. Ooh, there we go. Okay. So, the first three I have to show you are books that I got at a author signing at Schuler's back in, I think it was May. Late May, possibly. So, I will show you those. Actually, they're f there's four books. Okay, we have Something Strange and Deadly, and this is by Susan Dennard, and I'll sh show you, there it is, there we go, so she signed that one, they're all nice, lovely, wonderful ladies, so, and what was funny is they're all actually in their mid to <clears throat> mid to late 20 so it's kind of funny that they're technically all like a little younger than me by a couple of years so that's kind of funny because I would have thought they seemed older but anyway uh, the next book I have is What's Left of Me by Kat Zhang yeah where is it at I'll find it there it is right there Ooh. The autograph from her. And Taken by Aaron Bowman. It was June 11th. Actually, she this person dated it. So, huh, now I know what day it was. So, eh, oh, oh my gosh. This jacket is messed up. I don't know. That's weird. Okay. So, there is that one. And we have Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. Moss? Moss. Okay. <gasps> and that's, uh, that's what it looks like. That's pretty cool, too. And while I was at that Schuler's that particular day, I did actually pick up another Sarah Dessen book that was used at Schuler's called Along by Along for the Rye. And one that actually the the ladies had talked about, and it was kind of funny because I just picked up a used copy right before I sat down for the, their presentation, and that is The Sky is Everywhere by what's this lady's name? Jandy Nielsen? Yep. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Well, basically the next file I have to show you is stuff that I've gotten from Barnes and Noble. And I have a small little announcement that I'll make when I'm done with this book haul. It's it's gonna be a change, it's gonna be different, but it's it's time for a change. First that I'm currently reading is Lola and the Boy of the Next Door. I really liked Anna and the French Kiss, and I like that they redid these covers. I like the orange and yellow of the sky and the Golden Gate Bridge. I think that's and yellow is such an uplifting co cover. I mean, I can look at it, and if I'm in a foul mood or I'm upset, I can look at it, and immediately I feel my mood lifting. It just it's so nice. Okay. So, and then we have Anna in the French Kiss, also a nice cover. I like the uh, Eiffel Tower. Those are both by Stephanie Perkins. You know, actually, it's kind of funny, as I tried to read Anna in the French Kiss once from the library. I barely got into it, and I put it down. I didn't like it. 
I'm very happy I went and I picked it up again because I devoured it. And now I'm reading Lola and the Boy Next Door. And I'm so happy that Etienne and Anna are also in the second book. So, this is such a nice cover. Okay. Uh, this one, this is one I got also from Barnes & Noble. It's called Perfection. And that is by J.L. Spielbring, I think. And even though I haven't read The Book Thief, and that is on my big to-do list this year. I have to I have to read that before the movie comes out next year. And I got I Am the Messenger. It's also, this is by Marcus Suzak, also the author of The Book Thief. And I did get another Sarah Dessen novel, her newest one, called The Moon and More. I've been into getting contemporary stuff lately. So that is that, and I got one more stat. Okay. Okay. The Archived, I picked this up, and it's by Victoria Schwab. I also got The Eternity Cure, which is the sequel to The Immortal Worlds by Julie Cagwell, who is also the author of the Iron Face series, which I really like. And I got these two books because I just traded, like, a whole bunch of my other books. Not my young adult, really, but more of my animal memoir books that I really felt I'm not necessarily going to read anymore. Or again, some that just, they're hard to get through the first time, and I bought them on a whim, which is how I did a lot of that stuff back then. Any animal book, ever since Marley and Me, I, I devoured, like, I had to get it. And it's just kind of going through, like, what can I honestly do without? Because it seems like I've been really, really into YA for the last couple of years. So, yeah. And while I was at Schuler's, I picked up two more Sarah Dessen novels, Keeping the Moon and Lock and Key. So I think I, I think I should have just about all of them now. I know, I'm impulsive. <laughs> okay, now basically my announcement is this. I am not going to renew my Barnes & Noble membership. I've had it now for the last probably three years or more. And it's $25 a year. You get free shipping and online pricing. Well, the problem is, I've noticed that hardcover books are going up in price. Even <clears throat> for the online prices, they used to be anywhere from 10 to $11. Maybe at the most 12 Now they're going up to $13, $14, $15. And I have a nook. I'm actually now utilizing it more. So... I just feel that this is a wise decision financially to just justify having the Nook. Because it would sit in my nightstand for months and not be used. I'm like, you know what, I finally realized when I had ordered a few hardcover books and they had come in, and I looked at the price of one of them, which was Silver, The Silver Star by Jeanette Walls. I paid $15 for that book. I looked on Barnes and Noble how much it costs for a Nook book of a uh, copy of that. Six ninety nine. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to return these, get the money on a gift card, and just. I mean, there's no contest between that. It's just it's it's gotten it's gotten out of hand. The book buying has gotten out of hand. I understand that. So I just need to. St just say, you know what, I need to cut back, I need to read what I have, go to the library, what have you. I'm still going to buy notebooks. The only few hardbacks that I will purchase in the near future are going to be the final book in the Rick Riordan House of Heroes of Olympus series, the final book in the Mortal Instruments series, and the final book in the Black City series. Anything else that I have that is, like, just the start of a series, the rest are all just going to be purchased on the Nook. So that is my announcement. I hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July weekend. I know I had I had a pretty, pretty decent time. So I'm going to let you go with that. And then in my next video, I'm actually going to be talking about the Booktubeathon.
because I'm going to be participating in that. So you all have a wonderful Sunday afternoon.